Hey everyone, in this video I'll show you how to connect Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 2 uh, to a Power BI. So for this I have a storage account which is enabled for Data Lake Storage Gen 2 and the name of this is a safer Power BI demo here and uh, the file that I'll be loading in today to the power bi is in the power bi demo folder here and the covid 19 open data set so this is an open data set that is provided by microsoft and it has got the statistics of uh, covid 19 which is provided by microsoft as an open data set so today for this demo we will be using this data set right here okay before i start I need to copy the URL of this file which I can go here right click on the file go to the properties and then copy the URL here it's copied now I go to the power bi and then click on get data then I click more now I go to Azure and I select the Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 2 and click on connect. So for Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 2, we need to do a slight modification to the URL. So in this URL, if you see, there is a mention of blob. We need to change it to DFS and then click on OK. So at this point of time, I have already connected my uh, storage account with the Power BI, so it did not come for the credentials. Uh, it directly pulled up the file here, uh, which shows the different details uh, with the folder path, attributes, date created, date modified, file name, etc. So I do a load here. It's going to take a while because this is a pretty big file and uh, it will start loading the data into the Power BI. You can see the various uh, operations that are happening at this point of time. The Power BI is loading the data from the CSV and it has processed 150 MB. So this file is approximately 900 MB and it's going to take a while here. So let's wait for this to complete. Let's give it a minute here. So this is how easy we can load our data, load the data from Azure Data Lake Storage to the Power BI for for different data analysis. So now the data is completely loaded. If you see here, it's still not loaded, right? because it has the it doesn't show up the data here in the query one but it shows the uh, the table what it was showing in the load stage so right click here on the query one and then edit query so this is going to open up the power query editor for us and then once we have this opened click on the binary here so this is going to load the entire data into the power bi and now click on close and apply so this is again going to take a while it's going to refresh the data here again so let's give it a minute here so this is a pretty big file that's the reason it is taking too much of time here and you can see it's started loading the data again Once the data is completely loaded, we see the different columns from the data set onto the query one here. So now the data load is completed and you can see the different columns from the CSV file loaded onto here. So I'll take a map report to demonstrate 
the data load here for the visual right so I have the latitude and longitude fields so I'll drag and drop it to the latitude of longitude and then we look at the recovered data for the COVID-19 so if I track it and this is how the visual shows and this data is from the Azure Data Lake Gen 2 so that is all for today thanks for watching subscribe to my channel